What is up my people? It's your boy Kanking out here. And I know you guys been waiting for a car reveal for a long time. In the time it took me about four weeks to make one car reveal, I may have accidentally uh, bought two other cars. <laughs> Whoops. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys all my cars and I'm gonna tell you what the hell freaking happened. Cannot lower my expectations, so I expect you will hate it. I held you to the highest standards, but you really don't test my patience. Used to be my favorite, nowadays you are cracking the pavement. Okay, starting fresh and new, this is my Audi A5, right? This was a car that I bought about a month, maybe, maybe two months ago. This car changed my freaking life. Look, I've always been into cars. My first car was a Corsa, then I had a black A3, then I had a silver A3, then I had a gray Golf, and then I got this black A5. The minute I jumped in it and test drove it, I knew I was in love. This was different. Don't forget, I'm a kid. I'm 19 years old. I've never experienced real speed before until I jumped in one of these. Come on, come on, come on. This badge right here, Quattro. That means this is a four wheel drive car. You will not ever want to go in any other car unless it has four wheel drive. This changes your life. The grip is insane. The handling is insane. When you're just cruising along at legal high speeds, all right, and you just turn or hit a corner, the car says, hey, let go of the steering wheel, I'll hit the corner for you. You feel so comfortable hitting speed. Nothing is like this, all right? So my favorite thing about the car is gonna be the four wheel drive. My least favorite thing about the car, probably the interior. The interior is not bad, but because of how good the rest of the car is, I would've wanted a little bit more modern interior. Don't get it twisted, this is a 2009 edition, but in the even the new A5's interior is still kind of the same. Let's take a look inside. You got your steering wheel, really nice. Uh, obviously it's manual, we only drive manual, but it's parts like this, there's, there's just so many buttons. If you can get a look at that, so many buttons. Uh, we don't really have any built-in Bluetooth music in here. It does have built-in Bluetooth for phone calls, but not for playing music. Not the end of the world. You can get that, change that to a CarPlay if you really care. I just use something else. It's not that deep. Interior, mm, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's nice. It, it does better than your, your basic cars, but it, it could be better, right? You know what I'm saying? All right, let's hop out, let's hop out. All right, one thing about this car for definite as well that I think you should know if you're interested in it is it comes in a four door, well, a five door, and it comes in a three door. I bought the three door version because it looks 100% better than the five door version, as you can see. It gives you that like old school American muscle. Though. Only thing though, if you got passengers, right, you know what you gotta do. You gotta do the old, you gotta do the old doom and a doobie. You know what I'm saying? That's the A5. Let's move on to the Mercedes CLA. This is the Mercedes CLA 200D. Um, this is the worst car I've ever owned. And once again, I've owned a Corsa, uh, what was it? 1.2 engine, Corsa 1.2 engine, yeah. I've owned uh, two A3s, 1.6 engines each. And then I had a Golf 1.4 engine. This is a two liter diesel. And once again, this is the worst car I've ever owned. No cap. And this car, this one is more expensive. Can't remember. Um, these. These two were around the same price, but this car is pretty expensive. I can't lie. This car is probably one of the few things I regret in life. This car is terrible. I'm gonna stand here, I'm gonna tell you right now. Look, if you're a flex boy, you wear your designer clothes, you wanna look good for the girls, you wanna show the steering wheel, buy this car. If you like cars, you like driving, don't step near this freaking logo. Unless you're willing, all right? Unless you're willing to spend more money on the better, more sportier versions of Mercedes, don't stand near the logo. If you ain't got the money for that, get yourself something different. This is not, this car right here, this CLA, is not made for anybody who wants to drive a car. This car is freaking terrible. One thing you gotta give it though is the looks. This car looks great from the front, right? It does look good from the front, I'll give it that. The back though, they, they got lazy. They drew the front of the car, and then when it came to designing the back, they're just like, ah, throw something on it. Look at this. Look at the back of this car. Does this not give you like granddad vibes? Like, what is this? Bro, bro, you're seeing the front of the car. And then you look at the back of the car and you're like, what, what the F is this? Look at the back of the TT, right? Nice, beautiful, Where the comes up, whatever. Cool, back to the A5, nice, beautiful. And then come back over here, 
come back over here. If you seen this rolling on loader, you only seen it from the behind. You would say, hey, yo, dad, how you doing? Can, can you pick me up? That's what you would say. In fact, you wouldn't even say that. You say, hello, dad's dad. Can you, dad's dad's dad, dad. Can you pick me up? This some old man-ish. This some old man-ish. Freaking dead car. Yeah. All right, cool. Let's take a look at the interior, right? Let's, ooh, we'll take it from here, right? Now, the interior on this car is gonna be nicer than your standard cars, all right? Let's give it a quick look. All right, the vents, right? Once again, the vents are freaking beautiful. You can't, you can't lie. As soon as I got in this car, I looked at the screen and I said, hey, that looks cheap. That's the first thing I said. I expected it to be nice. Even like, all right, cool. There's one that kind of stretches from here to there, but that looks pretty cool, but this looks cheap. Hear it. Hear, hear me type the plastic. Cheap. Know what I'm saying? The screen looks cheap. This whole silver bit here is plastic. And it just looks cheap, right? And then over here you got like, it's a nice feel material, but it's just like that dull grayish color where you can tell they could be asked to make it black. This is a 2016 car and you got bare freaking buttons. Whilst I'm freaking driving, who the frick am I freaking dialing? Are you freaking crazy? Why are there keyboard freaking letters here? That's just jumbling up the inside of this car. I'm never gonna touch those buttons and I never have. Cool, CD player, I get it, right? I get it, all right, cool, whatever. But oh, what the frick is this? Don't give me, look, don't give me this and don't, don't give me this and don't give me steering wheel buttons to control everything and they put a billion buttons on here. Don't do that. What's the freaking point? But, ugh. all right, cool. Obviously you got your steering wheel. The thing about the steering wheel is the first time I touched the steering wheel, I said, yo, this is clunky. It's, it feels big in your hand and thick and it kind of- Pause. Ugh. Wow, wow, no homo. It kind of just leads to like discomfort after like 10 minutes of driving. And I don't like that. And uh, the CarPlay system, poof, I got, wait, cut, step out, step out. Cool. Other than the car just being a terrible car to drive if you actually like driving, the car don't freaking work. The car does not work. Let me tell you that. The car does not work. First things first, this is probably the dealer's fault. I'm not gonna say which dealer I got it from. It's very popular, but I'm not gonna say it yet until I get this rectified. If they wanna be long, I'll tell you the name, right? Cool, first things first, I'm driving a car 60, 70 miles per hour on the motorway. The car's just doing up this, look. The car's just doing... And I'm just like, whoa, whoa, hold on. I wanna go forwards and only forwards, but you trying to, you trying to cha-cha slide on it and go like, what's going on? Cool. So I'm just like, what the F? I go to the dealers, they tell me, oh, the, the tire pressure was different in every tire. I'm just like, wait, hold on. I bought this car from you guys and you guys prepped it before you gave it to me for a couple hours or like a day or so. What, why are the tires like, all right, cool, whatever. That's not Mercedes fault. Cool, cool. You know what is Mercedes fault though? That stupid ass freaking car play. First of all, the car play barely freaking works. All right, cool. Look on screen right now. You see all that scrambly bull crap? That's what I have to deal with. And you see the vents, the vents are delicate. You don't want to put none of those like freaking phone holder things in there. You break the vent, then the car's just broken and then nobody wants to give me back my money. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody trying to give me money for this car. Cool. Let's say the car play does work. No, nope, still doesn't work. Do you know what it does? Do you know what the frick it does? One time I was on the freaking motorway, right? And I'm driving and it's like, yo, your exit is coming up on the left, right? And I'm like, yay, my exit's coming up on the left. Guess what? There was no exit. The thing said, take the left exit. There was no exit and I was like, what the F? So obviously I kept driving. What am I gonna do? Turn into the freaking fence? Of course not. So then I drive past this non-existent exit and it goes, oh, well, that's 30 more minutes to your journey. And I was like, what the F? Then I was driving straight on the motorway and it said, take this roundabout right now. I was like, there's no freaking roundabout. And then it was like, oh cool, 20 more minutes to your journey. And I was just like, what the F? So I turned that ish off and I had someone in the passenger with a phone just holding it up the whole time like this and I got home. Every time I jump in the car, it does some bull crap with the car play. F Mercedes and F that dealer. Don't buy a Mercedes. We don't rate these cars. But now it's time. Car. Anyhow, let's look at my personal favorite. This, my friends, is my favorite for many reasons. One, it's just the overall better car. And two, it's my dream car. Ever since I was young, years ago, I always said, I want a TT, I want a TT. 